I have to start this video out by saying a huge thank you to JP for your $10 donation. This is the second month in a row that you've donated to me and you are knocking it out of the water. I highly appreciate it. Keep being awesome, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's up guys, Graham here. If you left a comment in the comment section of the last Saturday video, then you are entered into the giveaway of whatever you want from the Rift store, as long as it's 5,000 credits or less, and it is giftable. So the winner of that giveaway is, bam, right there. Congratulations, enjoy whatever prize you end up picking. We will be sending you a message on YouTube. So check your inbox and let's get the prize to you. This week's giveaway is a Typhoon Edition. You guys really enjoyed those prizes in the past, so we're going to do it again. It'll unlock all of your earring slots and give you all kinds of good stuff in the game to go with the new Nightmare Tide expansion. In order to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section of this very video with your character name and server so we know where to send the prize. And you must be subscribed and hit that like button. The winner will be announced in the next weekend video. Good luck everyone. What's up guys? This week we're going to be going over a Marksman PvP build, so let's jump right into it. Alright, so as you can see, we pretty much have the exact same build that we had in our previous Marksman build that we did for like 2.7, 2.8, and stuff like that. Well, in Nightmare Tide, yeah, there has been a Marksman upgrade, but it hasn't really changed the build too much. So, we're going with the exact same thing that we did before, which is 61 Marksman, 11 Ranger, and 4 Rift Stalker. Now, if you're one of those people that just wants a little more damage and doesn't uh, doesn't care if a warrior gets on you or something like that, then you may go with Nightblade as your uh, four-point soul. But that's completely up to you. I like to have Shadow Shift, a little more Endurance, be a little more tanky, that kind of stuff. Because if uh, Stealther pops out on me or I start to get targeted, I do not like to die really fast. So Rift Stalker is what I like. You guys can pick whatever you like. But if you want to see this actual build on a web page, instead of having to squint at your screen or pause the video or any of that, I will have a link in the description below this video. So refer down there if you would like to. All right, so we got 61 points into Marksman, 11 into Ranger here, which we have five points into Eagle Eye, five points into Wilderness Training, and one point into Predatory Instincts. And the four points into Rift Stalker all go into Unseen Fury. Now the masteries that we're going with is the level 61 is Aggressive Defense, 62 Revitalize, 63 Boundless Energy, 64 Repetitive Strikes, 65 energy manipulation all right now if you want more healing instead of more damage you may go with planar variation it's completely up to you i went with more damage because i'm at range i've already got rift stalker to help me survive a little bit but if you need more survivability feel free to get power variation instead all right so let's go into the buffs here our buffs are predatory instincts Plane Bound Resilience, Silver Tip Munitions, uh, Static Shock Munitions, and Ranged Combat Mastery. And of course, any Guild or Planar buffs that you feel like running. Alright, let's go into the macros here. Now, macros always change for me. So, uh, always refer to the description below this video to see any macros that I might make. Because I change them quite often. So, always go down there for the updated macros. And then, uh, yeah, that way you are up to date. And if I make a mistake in the video, a lot of times I correct it in the description below. So, one thing to keep in mind about macros that I make in videos is they're made to be very simplistic for PvP. Because in PvE, you separate everything because you're trying to get every little bit of extra damage that you can out of your abilities. But in PvP, it's fast-paced. You've got to be able to adjust to the situations. You got to have great movement. You got to try to survive. Just a lot of things go on with PvP that doesn't go on with PvE. So the builds and macros have to be different. The macros often have to be simpler so that you can hit them on the fly. 
Um, but you may want to separate abilities out of macros as you learn the builds better. It's completely up to you if you feel like one of these macros is making your DPS go down too much or something like that. Go ahead and separate things. It's all up to you. I'm just showing you an easy way to do it and that will carry you to victory in PvP. Alright, so this is our build macro here. And like I said, all the macros will be in the description below this video, so feel free to refer down there. Alright, then we have a finisher macro. And this is going to pop our energy manipulation, so make sure to take it out of the macro if you decide to go with planar variation. Alright, we have an AoE macro. And we have a flea macro, which this is uh, putting both of our getaway abilities here into one macro. Uh, I like to hit them at the same time. If you don't, then feel free to take them out if you want to micromanage them. But I have Shadow Shift and On the Double both on this macro. Alright, and then I went ahead and threw in two extra macros to uh, adjust for Empowered Shot. Because anytime that you cast a Finisher ability, you need to cast energy, uh, Empowered Shot right afterwards. And with me having separate buttons for like uh, sentry battery and strafe I wanted to be sure to also put empowered shot in there so I do cast the empowered shot in case I go to one of those abilities as a combo builder alright and then we have strafe also with our uh, empowered shot in there now some of you guys might want to put empowered shot on a different button so you don't have it in the macros completely up to you as I said this is what I do all right, so on our bar here, we have our builder macro, finisher macro, we have our sentry battery macro, uh, strafe macro, we have eradicate, which is going to remove two buffs off of our targets, we have retreat, which is going to be our leap back, and then you are immune to movement and parrying effects while leaping. All right, then we have our getaway macro with shadow shift and on the double, and we have barb shot here which is our dot we have an AOE uh, macro here then we have break free on a separate button do not put in your macros people unless you entirely want to fail in PvP alright then we have deaden which is our interrupt and it also debilitates our target uh, we have static shock which roots our target we have repelling shot which knocks them back and then I put swift shot on a another button just in case you get rooted and you're not wanting to do any kind of uh like channeled abilities take for instance if you're uh you get rooted and you're hitting your builder or something like that uh or any of your macros that have empowered shot in it you don't want a hard cast empowered shot so if you do get rooted go ahead and start hitting your swift shot as your combo builder and then you can hit your finishers after that all right let's go into how to play this build it's pretty straightforward, but you just got to know how to do it. All right, so anytime that we're about to start a fight or choosing a target or whatever, you want to make sure that you always have your barb shot up because it's going to dot your target. It's also going to increase your uh, critical hit chance by 10%, and that's going to be really important whenever you're using your channeled abilities such as sentry battery and strafe. Uh, also, dead eye shot. So... I'll go into the whole rotation here. We're going to apply our barb shot. And as you see, I have it pop up at the bottom of the screen by my character's legs uh, with K alerts. And it's counting down, as you can see. I will have the whole K alert code in the description below this video. So if you'd like to just copy and paste that code and have all of my alerts, then feel free. It'll make it easy on you. So we're going to apply our barb shot, and then we're going to go ahead into our normal rotation, which is finisher, builder, builder, finisher. And that's basically the normal rotation. Okay, what you want to do also is whenever you're ready for burst, you go ahead and hit your sentry battery or your strafe. Both are going to build a lot of combo points and do a lot of damage. But anytime you have this stuff going, you've got to have your barb shot applied. Because if you don't, you're going to lose out on a lot of DPS. So let's reapply our barb shot. And then we're going to go into sentry battery. Now you may have to hit it a couple times in order to cast your sentry battery. Because like I said, our macro has empowered shot. 
uh, above Century Battery. So if you're going to get a free Empowered Shot, it'll cast that first and do even more damage, which is very, very good. Alright, so we're going to apply our Barb Shot. Builder, Finisher. Normal stuff. Okay, now we're going to make sure our Barb Shot is up and we're going to go into Strafe this time. Pretty simple, huh? Now let's say that you are uh, you get rooted all of a sudden and your combo points are up. You can go ahead and hit it and it'll cast Dead Eye Shot on your finisher. Now that's going to be a very hard hitting ability, so it'll be very good, but it only casts if you stop moving. All right. So let's go into some of the other stuff. That's the normal damage rotation. Of course, you've got your AOE if you need it. Uh, but the other things that we need to go into in PvP, you want to make sure that you're casting your Eradicate. Anytime that you have somebody targeted, make sure you use that Eradicate very often because it's going to remove two buffs off of your opponents. All right, if you get in trouble, you can of course use your Leap Back, which is your Retreat. And then you can turn around and hit your flea macro and it'll port you a little ways away and then hit your on the double so you can run away even faster. Now, you know, with marksmen, if somebody gets on you, you got to be able to get away. You can't let a paragon or a shaman or something like that open up on you. All right, so some of the other stuff that you need to keep in mind is deaden, which will interrupt your target and also debilitate them. Very important to be interrupting people. You're going to be the bane of casters for the most part. As long as you're removing their buffs and you're interrupting them. Alright, you also have a root here which is going to root your target for 5 seconds with static shock. And then a uh, repelling shot which is going to knock back your opponent. Alright, now I have a swift shot on a separate button. That way, if you get rooted and say uh, you're stuck in one spot, you don't want to hard cast your empowered shot that's going to be in your macros. So you can go ahead and hit your swift shot as a combo builder, and then you can hit your finisher, and it, of course, uh, go into dead eye shot and all of that. So that's basically how this build goes. There isn't too much to it. Now, a lot of people have been asking me whether they should use Marksman since it's been buffed up or should they use Ranger. Now, what I have kind of came up with after talking to Ganked is we kind of agreed that Marksman is good for pure offense. It, it can get away, but really the defensives aren't really there with Marksman anymore. Uh, the movement increase is not really there with Marksman anymore as well. Because, such as in our uh, macro here, we have Calculated Shot, and that's going to remove your Swift Shot and Hasted Shot bonuses that you get with movement speed. So, that's not really going to help you too much for movement. Also, whenever you're using your Burst, such as Sentry Battery, it makes you move 50% slower. So, all of the old Marksman builds that had you moving a lot, now the movement bonus is not there, and... It, it's it's an offensive build now. It's not really a hit and run build anymore. And with Ranger, you have Diffuse, which is a huge defensive. So if you want more offense, go with Marksman. If you want more defense, go with Ranger because Ranger only has that one defense mainly, but it's such a huge defensive that it's worth it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to Rift, make sure you use my referral code in the description below because you get an extra bag and all kinds of stuff if you're making a new account. And it'll really help you out starting out in Rift. And any new player knows how important bags are at early levels. All right, if you need a guild, we are Grimm's Reapers on Wolfsbane server. We're a casual PvP guild. Feel free to join us. We would love to have you. And as usual, guys, my name is Grimm, and I will see you next time.